creative process for Credo is um, it's kind of sporadic. It starts with a story. It starts with scripture um, always and then kind of builds from there. Um, what I try to do and what's really important to me through the month, each month of Credo is establishing a rhythm. Um, the rhythm that we've chosen for Credo is moving with story, art, and prayer and action. And it's not a perfect rhythm, it's an art, it's not a science, so um, sometimes you'll have more action than you'll have the others. Um, but I try to keep that in mind as I'm going through it. Um, story, art, prayer, and action centering all around what was the, the theme. Um, sometimes deriving a theme from the original scripture. Um, so yeah, that's basically the creative process that goes behind it. I usually get the copy from the writer and start out by opening it up and reading through the second page of the journal. It kind of tells you what the whole theme of, of that issue is and I read through that and kind of get an idea of what, what we're going for and get to work on a, a cover concept and kind of let the rest of the journal flow out of that. I think the ideas for Credo come from everywhere. Uh, I can't help but be biased towards the arts because the arts are what I do. So I think um, when I just pray about the scripture for a while, I start to just pull things from my own life experience, um, whether it's songs or whether it's um, pieces of art or whether it's um, poems or whatever it is and also other stories within the narrative that I can connect to that original scripture. So um, when I begin to start writing, that's kind of uh, where those ideas come from. I just kind of sit with the scripture for a few days, intentionally wait for a couple days, and don't start writing until I've formulated kind of a, <laughs> just a huge mass of ideas, and then I set about putting those ideas in a 30-day journey. Usually the idea comes from, from the cover concept and the theme of the issue, and I try and build off of uh, that through the rest of the issue and try and tie it in with what we've been doing on previous credos, but also building something that is unique to that issue and that theme. It has to fit into 30 days. Uh, you know, like I said, I come into it usually with too many ideas to actually fit into the 30-day experience, so not all of it gets in there. So the 30-day journey is, is the parameters, and also um, within the parameters of a little square piece of paper that I have to fit each day on. Um, so I, I have to work with the artist and kind of have an idea of what he can do within the parameters of the actual paper that we have to work with. Um, there are things I wish I could do with pop-up stuff and with other kinds of um, materials, but that's not really an option, so <laughs> those parameters are there. I mean, I, I don't try to retell the biblical narrative in every single credo. Um, I try to just establish a certain rhythm from the beginning and then stick to it. So no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if somebody just picks up one credo along the way because every my intention in creating every single one is that it's a journey of its own um, based around some story I mean that's that's how I learn is to kind of center myself around story and then travel into that story into the depths of it and then let it spray out everywhere and then at the end collect it back up and so every single credo I try to do that and so each one is kind of an encapsulated journey of its own. It usually takes about 40 to 50 hours to do the entire design of an issue, including sending a proof to the, to the publisher, getting it back, making the appropriate changes, sending it again, and finally getting approval, then purchasing the stock art that is, was a part of the proof and putting that all together. I think the main thing for me, um, the reason why I love Credo, the reason why I believe in Credo, is because 
it combines a lot of passions in my life. Um, my passion for scripture, my passion for art, and my passion for rhythms. And what I hope um, students get as they travel through Credo is, is all of those things. Um, but more than that, I hope just that it establishes a daily rhythm in their life centering themselves around the narrative. Um, I know that every day isn't going to hit certain students where they're at, you know. Not every student is artistic, they're not going to draw, you know. Not every student is, uh, likes to read, so they're not going to like the stories very much. But my hope is that through the journey, you know, maybe 20 days or 15 days, they start to really just establish a rhythm for themselves around the biblical narrative. Um, because that, I think, is, is something that will stick with them for the rest of their lives. My purpose with the artwork is to take the narrative that Jason has created with the writing and to add a visual element that, that can bring the person reading it into the story and relate it to, to something they know, something they've seen or can experience. So really the, the goal with each day of Credo in, in the artwork is, is just to connect it to the, visually for the person reading it.